ordinarily, when you file your petition and the respondents file their answer, the next logical step is case management, which starts with a setting out of the issues and then a timetable which includes when witness statements are filed. On the first day when we came, our colleagues from the other side started off with an interlocutory application asking for leave to go and amend. And therefore, they started delaying the 42-day clock. That was granted. We had the opportunity to come back earlier this week. And the afternoon before we appeared in court, they filed another interlocutory application, which, as you all saw, took us, what was it, almost two hours or so, and the court dismissed and said, let's go back to case management, which is what we should be doing now. Every lawyer knows that by now, when you are coming to court for case management, first, your memorandum of issues, you've drafted it. Second, your witness statement, you have a draft of it. So these matters become procedural. Because our colleagues are seeking to delay the process and get a media spectacle ongoing for some months, all they are doing is theatrics in the chamber seeking to delay the time. So today, even after the court has ruled, or just before the court rules, they bring another application for review. Every lawyer knows that the law is that an application for review or an appeal does not operate as a stay of proceedings. Every lawyer knows this. So you cannot claim or pretend before the cameras that by mere virtue of the fact that you have filed an application for review, there ought to be a stay of proceedings. Because it has actually been, I think, slated for hearing tomorrow. The return date, I think, is tomorrow on it. It will be heard. Counsel for the petitioners.